Hello, it's April 2018, and you're watching another exciting episode of From the Bench, in which I uh, talk to you about what we're working on right now and ask for your feedback on the design. So we've just finished the OLA5 optical compressor kit. It's great to have that um, in production mode, almost ready to go out the door. And that means I can return to a project that I started over a year ago that I've been just itching to get back to, and that is our first rack mount unit. So this is a natural next step for us. We've done a bunch of 500 series modules. We're ready to go full rack unit. And this will be a multi-channel version of our CP5 mic preamp with color. So uh, if you're not familiar, the CP5 is a very clean, transparent, low noise preamp kit that has the added feature of a color socket. So you can add any tone from our range of color modules, distortion, compression, saturation, um, tone controls, whatever. Um, it's been an extremely popular kit and I'm really excited to, to make some sort of rack mount version. And what I've done so far is I've basically played with adding different features to the CP5. Um, Obviously in a 500 series format, you don't have all the room to do everything you want. In a rack mount box, we can do a lot more. So um, here's uh, the kind of prototyping I've been doing. Here's a 500 series CP5 and here's our uh, color palette board. This is the multi, multi color socket line level color processor. And I've kind of had to combine them to get all the features we wanted. So the first we added is a direct input. That's something that was absent from the 500 series module. That's a, to my mind, a must for a rack mount preamp. So a, a instrument input. Um, we've added a line level switch. So you could use your CP5 either as a mic preamp or as a line level processor, just with the push of a button. Um, here's a cool feature. We added a parallel dry output. So let's say you're recording uh, vocals and you want to really do something aggressive with the color, uh, but you're not sure you want to commit to it. You could also run this parallel dry output and uh, then you have options. You have your colored one, you have your dry one, you can mix them together, you can choose um, one to commit to in the mix. So it would give you more options um, for parallel mixing as well as just um, not committing to things right away. Um, and then we've also added the ability to switch between a couple different color slots. So the 500 series version had one color socket because of room constraints. Um, I think in a rack mount unit we can add two, but um, at least with this I was trying um, not to clutter up the front panel too much. So we've, we've got still got one color knob, but then next to it we'll have a switch to switch between two different colors that you can have loaded up. I'm pretty sure that's all we would have room for on the front panel. So those are the added features we've done. We've done a DI, uh, line input switch, dry output, and um, extra color socket. So that right there would be an extremely full featured, uh, very versatile preamp. I think we could fit, um, I've done some prelim pre preliminary laying out of the boards and uh, got this first prototype. We can fit two of those in a one rack unit rack. So that would be awesome. Great, stereo preamp. That's direction one that we could go with this project and I would be thrilled to do it. I wanna get your feedback on direction two, which would be to pare back the features a little bit and make it a four channel unit. So this would be um, not quite as full featured. I'm not quite sure which features we could keep, which we couldn't, but we definitely couldn't keep them all. But it would be uh, more economical per channel just because it's the same amount of box and power supply with more channels. Um, so that, uh, dear DIYer, is my question to you. Um, would you rather see a stereo or two-channel CP5 with all the bells and whistles or a four-channel version with fewer features? Now I know it's tough because we don't know exactly which features we'd cut, but in general, which of those is more exciting to you or more um, something you would need in your studio? So please comment, let me know what you think about that while you're at it. 
I would love your feedback on the features that I've just discussed. Which ones seem like a definite, we gotta have it. Which ones seem like you could take or leave it. And also I would love to hear about any features that I didn't discuss that you think you would love to see in our rack mount preamp. So we are still at the very early stages of this. It's not, it's definitely not time to be talking about launch dates or pricing or anything, but I would love to get your, your feedback at this early stage. And uh, thanks so much for watching and, and I'm really excited to keep going on this project with y'all. Thanks.